Hi, this is Vivek and this is the 15th tutorial of the Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about few useful commands like date, who am I, who, knowing what or what Linux issue you are running, uh, what kernel versions you are running, uh, a little bit about history commands. So let, let's start. So the very first command we are going to talk about is date command. So I was going through a few other commands before starting the tutorial. Let's clear the screen. So if you want to know everything about date, you can just type date and slash slash help and it will show you all the help related with the date command. But uh, let's talk briefly about it. Let's clear the screen. If you just type date, it will show you what day it is, what month, what the date is, like Monday, January 2nd, and then the time, and what time zone it is, and then the year. <clears throat> so depending upon your requirement, you might end up using different switches for the state command to get the desired output. Something like if you want to get uh, output in ISO 8601 compliant format. So let's type date minus capital I and you just got YYYY MM and TD. So if you want to have output in RFC 822, these are different compliant standard compliant uh, compliance according to which the date is being shown. So I'll just type date minus capital R and it does show uh, the date like Monday, today is 2nd Jan 2017 and this is the PST time but it won't show the PST but it will show how much <coughs> behind GMT it is running right now. So it's GMT minus 800 hours. If you want, so date is also a program written by someone. If you want to know what version of date your system is running, you can always type date hyphen hyphen version and this hyphen hyphen version is applicable to all the binaries. So it shows that the version is 8.25 and it was written by David, McKen David McKenzie. So going further, if you want to extract few parts from the date, so suppose you just want century, what century it is running like, you know that it's 2017, so century would be 20. But let's type date command and we will type plus and then percent and then C, C stands for century. 20th century. What year it is? Here is 2017. All right. Now, in two-digit format, we want to have the year. Just uh, like uh, we want to have 17 instead of 2017, we will type small y. We got 17. All right. Similarly, if you want to know what month it is, in short, if you want, you can always type a small b. But if you write capital B, it will give you the entire text of like it's January. Now, same thing goes for week. We'll type capital W. So it's, it tells which week of the year it is. It starts from 1, it goes to 52nd. So 0 to 52, uh, right now it's first week. Uh, sometimes it's uh, it, there are 53 weeks uh, starting from one to another. It might end up in 53rd week as well. So it, it might vary. All right. Now, if you want to know that uh, uh, something about day, which day it is, we'll type date minus small a. It gives wait uh, like this, not minus a percentage a. <clears throat> we got it's mon that stands for Monday. If we type capital A, similarly, it will give you in that text. So you similarly you can play around with this command. You can play around with the time. We can see whether it's AM or PM. We'll type capital P. It will give you AM or PM, whatever it, uh, it is. Now, if you want to have time in uh, 12 hours format, you'll type small r. All right. If you want to have time in 24 hour format, you'll write capital R. So, I suggest you go and play with the state command. Play, use different switches with that. I, I highly recommend you to read this uh, manual of the state command. Go to date minus minus help and read this. It, it's, it tells you everything, whatever is possible with state command. You can find it here. 
and next we are going to talk about who am I so who am I it will give me my username all right now who all are logged in in the my systems right now so I'll just type who okay right now it's just me if I start another terminal and just type who again it's just me right if the same system is being used by different people different people have might have SSH into this particular system it will show up here now if I want to know let's clear the screen it's clear command C L E A R the screen doesn't look cluttered okay if I want to know what Linux release it is so you can always find the details in cat and go to cat EDC and then slash issue so this is Ubuntu but we have installed it on VMware so that's why it's giving this entire text here so it's Ubuntu now another useful command is uname command that is for finding the details about kernel so all the details you want to know about uname uh, again you type uname minus minus help and it will give you the entire text of help so as you can see if you want to know all the details you can type u name minus a that is all so it's Linux 1244057 so what all these things are I'll explain it a little bit <coughs> so what exactly u name does how this is useful when you want to know what kernel version you are running under is it Debian is it what what, what different flavors of Linux you are running so this if you type uh, let's start with u name minus r so you get a detail like 440 and generic what do these things are so the very first thing for stands this is the kernel version it is running now this is the major revision of the kernel the third says uh, the minor revision of the kernel that is zero and the fourth field is immediate fixing or bug fixing or critical error the fixed the fifth uh, field is uh, generic basically it's distribution specific string sometime red hat appends some string like uh, el5 to indicate okay it's it is rhel5 kernel so similarly you can type various switches like i'm going to type uname minus m r s n got it's Linux Ubuntu this particular version it's running x86 64 it's 64 bit operating system it's running so this was about uname command again go play around with this command type again and again play with different flavors or different switches and the more you practice the more confident you will become now finally let's take a situation when you type some command previously uh, so if you type up if you click upper arrow key it will type you the, the previously typed command but you don't know what all commands you typed so what if I want to see all the commands that I typed and just type history oh, all the commands whatever I typed it's here so you can smartly use this history command to extract now I, I know these are too many commands and it's difficult to just go through but suppose I want to know whether I typed Anurag somewhere in, in, in this all list of commands or not so I'll type history and then I'll do a grip for Anurag so if I have typed Anurag wherever it's showing those commands so I, ho I hope that you understood what I was trying to explain here uh, again practice 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 there are no other shortcuts to learn Linux the more you learn the better the more confident you'll become all right thanks folks thanks for watching that's all for this tutorial we'll talk about some other commands in the next tutorial